All right, guys, I was trying to find a video on how to wire up an external voltage regulator for an alternator. And I couldn't find one anywhere, so, and I figured it out, and I'm gonna show y'all how to do it short, sweet, to the point, on how to wire an external voltage regulator on a new style alternator that does not have an internal voltage regulator. This alternator is out of a 91 Jeep Cherokee. Now, this vehicle is computed, computer, and ran by PCM, and I've done converted this entire Jeep over to carbureted and all mechanical just because I had too many PCM issues, electrical issues, all kinds of problems. I just deleted it all. Well, that being said, I've cut out the computer part of it and this alternator on a 91 Jeep Cherokee is regulated through the PCM of the vehicle. So now I'm having to figure out how to wire in an external voltage regulator on these newer style alternators. I couldn't find an easy video on exactly where to run everything. It was just guys acting like you already know what terminals do what. Well, I've figured it out and done it myself. I'm going to tell you exactly where everything goes. Now, I'm doing all this with a battery charger. All right. I've got a welding table here. It's all made of steel. So I've got the battery charger ground, grounded to my table. Got the alternator bolted in my vise, which is... Grounding through the housing of the alternator, through device, to the ground of my charger, which would be your body ground or whatever on your vehicle or whatever application you're using this for. Now, I've got a voltage regulator. I uh, ordered it for a 1986 Dodge D150. It's out of a 1986 Dodge D150. I think in 89 and newer, it all went uh, internally regulated with a PCM on the vehicles. This top connector on this external voltage regulator is going to have a triangular style plug. Would be three pins, but there's actually only two pins in here. Looking at it this direction. Your top left pin, you're going to pull it out. You're going to wire it into your field terminal. From what I've looked up, it doesn't matter which side you wire it to, but I have mine ran to the left side field terminal. I have the bottom pin running to the right side field terminal now this external regulator is also bolted into the alternator you could this on a vehicle you would bolt it to the firewall frame fender anywhere that has a good ground i'm just bolting it to the alternator for the ease of this experiment to figure this out which i have the casing of this regulator grounded by bolting it to the housing of the alternator which is grounded through the table to the charge. Now you have to wire in a power source to excite the alternator to tell it to charge. So I have a wire running from the right side field terminal of this alternator coming out, going straight to the power source to the positive on the battery charger. That's what excites the alternator and tells it to come on. Normally on a vehicle or whatever application you'd be having this on, tractor or whatever, if this is on a vehicle you would want to run this wire for the exciter to excite the alternator to tell it to come on to charge, you would have run that to a key on power so it will turn it off and on because if you leave it hooked up, it's probably going to drain your battery. Now with all this wired up, I have a drill that I was powering the alternator with to turn it. And with this way hooked up with this external voltage regulator, I was getting a 12 volt and under power source coming out of the terminal that goes to the battery. Without this regulator, it was pushing 15 volts way too much but with the voltage regulator grounded wherever you may put your ground at like i said mine's running through the table which is running through the housing of the alternator but you would ground this to the firewall somewhere top left pin to the left field terminal bottom pin to the right field terminal run a wire straight from the right field terminal to a key on key off power source and that would be your bottom power out, which would go straight to your battery, which would be pushing a 12 volts to charge your battery. Like I said, I've seen a lot of videos of guys showing these external voltage regulators off these old Dodge trucks. They'd get the regulator and say, this wire goes here, this wire goes there. But they wouldn't explain how everything worked and where it needed to go and why it needed to go there. So I was skeptical on just bolting it on the vehicle and not knowing what was going on. So I wanted to put it on my table. I got it figured out. Short, sweet, to the point. Best way I could explain it. Hope it helps y'all. It helped me. 